It's Sonny's Piano TV Show. Today, a look at a unique new concept, Sonny's Designer Pianos. Featuring this minimalist gray slate Steinway. Shabby chic white sandstone Steinway. This magnificent white driftwood Steinway. Sonny's stress tips. And much, much more. And now, here's Sonny. Hello everyone, it's Sonny with another Sonny's Piano TV Show for you today. This is the Piano TV Show that's completely devoted to pianos, to music, to health and well-being, and to you. And today, lots of exciting new things going on here at Sonny's. Today we're going to start a new segment called Sonny's Stress Tips. Uh, as some of you might know, I was a stress management consultant uh, before I got into the pianos. And I uh, taught for colleges and universities and, and corporations and schools. And uh, I'm going to start sharing that knowledge here on our show because there's so much stress and tension floating around in the world today. You know, everything is speeding up with the technology. So we're going to start helping people to relax here on Sunnies. So today, the uh, first of our series in Sunnies Stress Tips. Uh, also on today's show, something else very exciting. We've started something new here at Sonny's and we're calling these custom hand-painted pianos. We've commissioned a couple of artists to help us convert uh, these pianos. This is a, a Steinway to a very modern decor uh, look and style. Uh, this uh, was a mahogany, but we've created a minimalist gray slate look. And we're calling this the gray slate Steinway. And uh, you're going to see me demonstrate this and talk about it a little later in the show. Also, we've created another look. It's called the White Sandstone Steinway. And that is uh, kind of like a, a textured uh, sandstone uh, finish on the piano. And with uh, multi colors, kind of looks like the Grand Canyon. And we're going to do photos and a video tour of me playing that in the show as well. Also, we have something we call the white driftwood, and uh, that's a very modern style also, and we're trying to f keep up with the times, and uh, uh, you'll see a video tour on, and photos of that a little further in on the show. Okay, so um, pianos, they're healthy, they're healing, they're therapeutic, and everyone can play the piano. Uh, let's start off with my stress tip. Here we go. You know, in today's very fast moving, uh, frenetic, uh, even frantic world that we live in, bombarded by technology, TV, uh, internet, Facebook, YouTube, uh, uh, political stuff, you know, it's uh, work, family, uh, it's a lot of stress on us. And uh, one of the things that stress does is it causes us to tighten up. And because uh, it's kind of like a protective mechanism. Uh, if you uh, feel stress, any kind of stress, it could be physical stress, like it's snowing or raining, emotional stress, uh, interacting with family and friends, uh, uh, economic stress, whatever it is, on some level, the uh, human body has a tendency of tightening up to protect itself. It's kind of like uh, in the primitive days, if you're walking down the street, somebody throws a rock at you or a spear at you, uh, what do you do? You tighten up and duck. Well, it's the same thing with just regular stress. Somebody throws some stress at you, and there's a tendency, very subtle, though, to tighten up. And what happens when we tighten up? Well, first, our muscles feel tight and achy. But uh, very important, what happens is that when we tighten up, we, we don't breathe as fully and as deeply as we could. For instance, uh, if I tighten and I try to take a deep breath, see, no air going in, very little. But if I relax and I take a slow, deep breath, Another one, slow, deep breathing 
helps you to relax. So whenever you're feeling tense and tight during the day, whatever you're doing, just start taking some slow, deep breaths, preferably through the belly, as I call it, or the diaphragmatic breathing, like this. Inhale, and exhale. Take like three or four. Inhale, and exhale. Try it right now, as you're watching. Take a deep breath with me. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. See, I feel more relaxed immediately. <laughs> so that's something you could do. Slow, deep breathing is uh, nature's way of relaxing us. It's a natural form of relaxation. So try it. You'll be glad you did. Slow, deep breathing. Whenever you feel strength and tight, take some deep breaths, and you'll immediately feel yourself relaxing. So, some new stress tip for today. Now. We're going to roll into the Gray Slate Steinway video tour. I hope you like it. We have another in our continuing series of custom hand painted. R.K. Steinway Pianos, they commissioned an artist to do what we call the Gray Slate Steinway, the 1927 Steinway Model M, partially rebuilt, and original ivory keys, and a beautiful custom hand-painted Gray Slate Steinway, a work of art in your living room. I hope you enjoyed that. We have the pianos here in our place in Port Jefferson on Main Street. So if you want to come down and try out any of our pianos, take a look at them. It's like a piano museum here. Uh, just call and make an appointment and come on down. When you're under stress and tension, here's what I call the instant relaxation technique. This is a breathing technique that you do that will instantly relax you, okay? Works like this. You inhale slowly and deeply. You hold the breath, count to three, then let the air out more slowly than you in, brought it in. Then let the air out more slowly than you inhaled it. Watch again, inhale, hold it, one, two, three, exhale. nice and slowly. Try doing this through your nose. Inhale through your nose. Hold the breath. Exhale more slowly than you brought the air in. I would try that, doing that around five times and uh, 
guaranteed you'll feel instantly more relaxed. So this is something you could do uh, before you're going to perform, like if you're going to sit down and play the piano, or before you're going to play sports and get up to the plate, uh, before you're uh, going to do uh, anything, take a test, uh, uh, go into a meeting. The more relaxed you feel, the better you function. Okay? The more relaxed you feel, the better you function in any aspect of life. So start just trying to program yourself to relax and just consciously relax your shoulders, relax your body. You know, when we run through the day, by the end of the day, we're so tight and tense, driving the car, and just walking, running, going to work, doing this, going shopping. Try to start thinking about relaxing. Okay, relax your body, relax your mind while you're in motion, okay? And so now next, we're going to do a uh, video tour of something we call the White Sandstone Steinway. And uh, it's called the White Sandstone Steinway because the finish is kind of like sandstone. And uh, we have multicolors on it. And it looks like something like the Grand Canyon or it looks like the sky. But it's very beautiful and it's very, very much in. We're calling it the Shabby Chic White Sandstone Steinway. So here's our Shabby Chic uh, piano presentation for you today. This is a magnificent, one-of-a-kind Steinway Model M that we commissioned an artist to do this beautiful, beautiful white sandstone finish on it. We're calling this uh, Shabby Chic. We also partially rebuilt the piano. It has new pins, new strings, new dampers. We go to the plate, we varnished the soundboard, and we rework the action. It just came out beautiful. Piano is from the golden age of Steinway manufacturing in this country. I hope you enjoyed that. You know, shabby chic, that's what's in today. I like saying that, shabby chic. It's a shabby chic Steinway. Very stylish, very in today. And here we are with another Sunday stress tip for you today. You know, one of the areas we all carry our tension is in the shoulders. And when we're under stress and tension, there's that tendency to tighten up, especially the shoulders get tight. So we're looking to, so on a subconscious level, we're trying to protect ourselves. Right now, whatever you're doing, if while well, you're watching the show, drop your shoulders. Drop your shoulders. Relax your shoulders. You're probably sitting there with your shoulders up a little high, or during the day, or sitting at a desk, or sitting at the piano. Just consciously.
drop your shoulders and just relax your shoulders. And even if you can, roll your shoulders. Roll your shoulders backwards. Roll your shoulders forward. Right. And then backwards. Big shoulder rolls. And forward. Right. And then let the left shoulder dip down. And then the other shoulder down. And then just roll the right shoulder backwards. And roll the left shoulder backwards. Good. And the right shoulder forward. And the left shoulder forward. Good. And then just, just take a couple of deep breaths. In fact, here's a technique I developed. I call this the BDR technique. Breathe, drop, relax. Take a deep breath. Drop your shoulders. Relax. The BDR technique. Do it again. Breathe. D, drop. Relax. And those are any stress tip for you today. The BDR stress relaxation technique. Thanks for watching. And now we're going to roll into another custom hand-painted masterpiece we've created here at Sunny's. This one's called the White Driftwood Steinway. And we've created a finish on it that kind of looks like driftwood. And you'll see what I mean in just a moment. Here we go. Today we're proud to present this Model S made in 1962 that uh, we've restored the uh, instrument part recently and uh, we also have just created this magnificent work of art. This is called a white driftwood and uh, this is a very contemporary looking, very modern style. So if you're looking for something that's uh, very minimalist and uh, just a unique work of art, this is it. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it took us quite a while to complete, but uh, came out beautiful. Another stress tip for you. Uh, my uh, cameraman, uh, Vladimir, during that last stress tip about dropping the shoulders said, I didn't realize how tight I was holding my shoulders. And yes, we, we all, uh, when we go out into the world, we have to put on what we call armor because we kind of protect ourselves when we go out into the world. When we're home, we can relax more, just loosen up, decompress. But when we go out into the world, it's almost like we put on a raincoat or armor and we tighten up. Okay, so 
be conscious of this tightening up process that takes place throughout your entire body. Another area that tightens up uh, is, besides the shoulders, is the abdomen. Most of us are holding our stomach in tight all the time. Why? We've been conditioned. Uh, uh, men are supposed to stand up tall, throw the shoulders up and back, and suck their stomachs in. And women, uh, tr we're all trying to look like uh, teenage uh, uh, kids. We want to look thin, so we hold the stomach in. Because we don't, God forbid, we have some uh, uh, belly uh, uh, fat. Uh, it's the most direct, horrendous thing that could happen. Wrong. Relax your stomach. Let your stomach just hang out, okay? Just drop your shoulders. Relax the muscles in your stomach. Even, even right now as you're watching this, relax your shoulders. Relax your stomach. Relax your lower back and your backside. There's so much tension. We're always holding in. Try to loosen up and relax. Loosen up and relax. Breathe, relax, and enjoy. And now we're going to show you a couple other art case uh, pianos that we have here at Sonny's. And uh, the first one is a Baldwin Model R. It's a five foot eight inch long piano. It's an art case Queen Anne style. And it's just beautiful. And Baldwin R's are renowned for being clear and crisp and beautiful. And here's our presentation of a Baldwin R 1988 piano. Oh boy, what a delight to play this piano. This is a five foot eight Baldwin, made in 1987, when the Baldwins were made in America still. This is a beautiful art case. It's a really dark chocolate mahogany. It's actually called like an English mahogany. Just spectacular instrument through and through. Rich tone on this at five foot eight. Baldwin R's are renowned for being clear and crisp and rich. You see what I mean? A very clear and crisp sound on that piano. Baldwin's. I love them. Hey everybody, it's Sonny with another stress management tip for you today. And today I want to talk about uh, facial and neck tension. Um, uh, very often when we are under stress, uh, you know, we get the, the brow thing going here and uh, shoulders get tight and muscles just tighten up and back of the head gets tight and sometimes you get a headache and all that. So um, one simple quick technique is to just uh, massage. Just put your hands on your temples and just move the muscles around a little bit. And then even on your forehead, just smooth out your brow, you know, just like that. And take those deep breaths while you're doing that. Take a quick relaxation break in your day. 
like that. And then right here on the, on the uh, side of your neck, these are called the occipitals in here. And these get very tight. And if you just press gently, press your thumb in there along where the skull and the muscles meet, and just press and hold, press, hold, massage. The other side, too. Same thing right here. Press, press. Ah, and take some deep breaths while you're doing it. And right over here, too, right at the top bridge of the nose. And just press. Like that. And of course, a little stretch to the side and the other side, and deep breaths. Also, the hands. You know, we're all using our computers all the time and texting. So another thing you can do is just, you know, gently stretch the fingers like that. And right in here, too, between the thumb and the index finger, you can just massage in there. That releases, this is like a trigger point for the whole hand. So you just press in here, right there, especially along the bottom here. Just press in, press, press, count to three, one, two, three, press again, one, two, three, just massage. Same thing here, just press in here, like that. And also when you're playing the piano, before or after. Yeah. So we'll Take them loose. <laughs> As I know, this stress tip for you today. Thanks for watching. Relax. Breathe, relax, and enjoy. And now we're going to finish with one more art case piano. It's called a Kanabi. I love Kanabis. Kanabi started making pianos in this country in the 1830s, and they just really knew what they were doing. This piano is from 1956. It was refinished and rebuilt, and it's also an art case. Where do you hear the sound on this one? Thank you for watching. We're featuring one of my favorite Pianos, it's a Kanabi, yes, a Kanabi. Kanabi started making pianos in this country in 1830s, and uh, they really knew how to make a piano. This is a very well handcrafted, American made piano. Not mass produced, handcrafted. They seasoned the wood, the cast iron plate is just uh, you know, spot on, and uh, this piano was originally made in 1956. It has the original ivory keys. It was refinished a little while back, it's a mahogany and they repinned it, they restrung it, and the piano is in just impeccable condition. 